Well, surprise your family this holiday season with recipes they will enjoy. Melissa's in the kitchen with some delicious options. Yes. Okay. First of all, introduce yourself. I'm learning so much about you. <laughs> well, my name is Eddie Zamora at uh, the Yum Yum Foodie on social media, and these are some tostones. Yeah, which tostones. I've never tostones. Did tostones. I say right? Yeah, you did. You did. Right. That's on point. Now he uses uh, this special little device here. I've yes. never seen before. Where do you pick this up? So at a Latin supermarket. I mean, I'm, I'm from uh, Caribbean descent, so we call them tostones, but in like Colombia they call them patacones. Uh -huh. Essentially, they are green plants. And that's okay. what they look like in the yes. store. Okay. And they're not ripe. So you want you want the green plantains. You, you don't want, want the brown the ones. Okay. Right. You want the green why, ones. Why do you want green? Well, because they're not gonna be sweet. Okay, the you want they, the savory. Yes, okay. you want the savory. So this is a savory dish. You're gonna score these guys, and by score I mean you just kind of slice down, and you don't want to go all the way through to the meat of the banana, okay. just through the skin, and you're gonna nuke them. And the, the rest of the microwave, is, that's it. Yeah, well, well no, there's a little more to it. <laughs> uh, you you nuke like, them. Oh, I can do yeah, that. Yeah, well, one banana is three minutes. Okay. Two bananas, six minutes, right? Take them out, peel them. Okay, okay, you're gonna peel them and you're gonna cut the edges. Then, this is when we use our bad boy here. Cut them in like one inch, uh, yeah, but what, like the size of a big marshmallow. Oh, okay. We're gonna put them in here. And smash it. Smash them down. Yeah, it's the fun part. This is yeah, the part where you get the kids this involved. Is it. We yeah. were talking stress free <laughs> ways to get through the holidays. This, yeah. is it. this is how to get through it, stress free. Absolutely. So, and this is what they're gonna look like. So when you get them smashed, but. Then we're gonna throw them in the oven. About okay, 10 minutes and that's gonna help to give them that right. crispy thing. Because you said the alternative would be to fry them. So right. this is a healthier right. option. So traditionally they're fried, but I wanted to do them baked. They're actually twice fried. And, uh, you know, that's pop, a lot yeah, of we, we wanna have some lower yeah, cholesterol. So you can eat all of them <laughs> versus like a bite of the other one, right? Absolutely. So, right, cook them in there for 10 minutes with a little olive oil, a little salt, okay. and then boom, you got these guys. Now, over here, I made something called vaca frita. Vaca means cow. So okay. traditionally, that's going to be meat. Right. So this is a little different. Have you ever wondered what to do with a rotisserie chicken that's been in your fridge for... For days, and you're right. like, do I, is it one of those things I got to uh -huh. let it go? Okay. So I deboned it. So I took the meat off the rotisserie chicken. Yes. yes. And then a little onion, a little garlic, and something called naranja agria, which means what, sour what is that? orange. I, I... <laughs> naranja agria is sour, sour orange, and they're actually from, uh, from Valencia, Spain, which is okay. kind of fun, because if you're from South Florida, you have that friend that comes over and sees the oranges there, and they're sour, and they don't know. Oh, they don't you, understand. Yeah. Oh, so, it's a prank. It, pretty much, okay. pretty much. I put a little sour orange in there, and then I pan fried it, so a little olive oil. So you're cooking it again, and you get it nice and crunchy. Okay. So here's our little tostón. So you said this is an appetizer, and great a for like a appetizer. holiday party, but it's also something you can theoretically have for dinner too. No, absolutely. I mean, if you want to be the star, you want to hit them with the hind when they come in the house and show them with an awesome, awesome, mm -hmm. awesome dish right there. So we're putting some crema there. Yeah, Sour and there's cream. a little, a little guac. Well, not guac per se. I like to call it guac, but it's not. <laughs> it's a uh, you can do you can do guac if you want. And then we're just gonna put a little bit of this guy on there. Okay. And just put a little bit of salt on top. You can also do a little bit of pepper, or I. Sometimes we'll put lime, squeeze the lime on top just to get that little oh, tartness yes. to as well. Yes, and then you're well. going to want to wash it down with the milk. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And that's also good if you maybe you like a little bit of heat and you put a little like sriracha sauce in there, you want a little spicier. Oh, also, yeah. the milk is going to help with that too. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. So you make it your okay. own essentially. That's what, and it's kind of fun to put these together. Uh -huh. You know, it, it's, yeah. it's fun to And I see this is something you can even do as a family, do with the kids. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So I'm going to do, well, do you want to make one? No, I'm just going to do it. I, I want to help. I'm gonna... I, do you see how he just told me? He was like, no, 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 it's totally fine. Yeah. <laughs> he knows uh, me. But yeah, which is funny because it's the opposite. I wasn't allowed <laughs> to do anything in the kitchen as a kid. Oh, okay. I was not allowed. Yeah, no, me, that was, I'm the, not really either. The, the, the Latino, Latino household did not allow me. <laughs> grandma was like, get out of the kitchen and go play baseball. But, but you said this is something that you did your whole life. Like your grandma made them they, and your Yeah, whole my grandmother, my mom made them. And it's, this is kind of a way that every year, I don't know, I, I pay homage to them. That's I, awesome. It's, yeah, it makes me feel like I'm, I'm back home in Miami even though I live in Los Angeles now. Okay, so this recipe is going to be up on the website, yeah. gotmilk.com. You'll absolutely. also have a blog if people want to follow yes, you and check you out. Absolutely. So across all social media, I'm at the Yum Yum Foodie. That's the Yum Yum Foodie. And uh, I mean, lots How'd of... you come up with the name? Because all your uh, food's Yum probably Yum? Probably because, well, yeah, Yummy is something that I would use in my life all the time. I would see like a nice car and be like, man, that car's yummy. <laughs> Uh, so eventually, I think it just naturally evolved All into right. uh, the Yum Yum Foodie. I love it. And I think Yum Yum Foodie was taken by somebody, so I figured the, the Yum Yum Foodie. Yeah. Let's be very the particular. That makes it even yeah. better. All Absolutely. right. Uh, stick around because you're going to do a sweet recipe as uh, well. Yeah, for, for us. sure. Yeah. A little sweet stuff. A little All sweet right. stuff at the end of the day. Code, make sure. <laughs>
jack cheese too oh, as well. Oh, so that helps to give it that savory as exactly. well. Exactly. Okay. So, so if you have that friend in the family or you know that guest that likes a little bit sweet savory, that's going to be for you. Okay. Essentially, you get the ingredients: the cranberry, the cheese. Put them in the bowl with uh, with your cream cheese, and you're going to blend them together, okay. make little balls, and then roll them in roasted pecans. That's done. it. Done. done. And then done. just shove a little pencil and or a little pretzel, pretzel stick, stick on the right top. Right in there too. Now okay. the last one is again a little to my heart from my hometown, uh, Miami. It's very traditional to have a lot of guava and cream cheese. It's like a dessert for us. Oh right, right, yeah, right. Guava and cream cheese. So what I did was I said, you know what? Let me get guava paste. And, uh, I'm and you mix can find that. that anywhere? Yeah, you can find guava paste at the Latin supermarket, but now I've even, it's, I've even seen it at the regular supermarket okay. too, which is great. That's easier to find. <laughs> and you're going to blend it with your cream cheese. Okay. And then last but not least, you crush your Maria cookies and you roll them in the cookies afterwards once oh you make a little ball and put the pretzels. That's it. That's it. The, the, I yes. can see the kids loving that. Okay, yes. and then it's a great option too. We were just talking about for appetizers if you're having people over Christmas Absolutely. Eve, New Year's Eve is going to oh, be no. right around the corner and too. You can do this parties. at the last minute. Somebody says right. they're coming over. All right, I got cream cheese. I got. Let me invent a cream cheese ball. What am I going to do? Right. Okay, I can wrap these up, and also the kids can do them. It's kind of fun. Get is their this hands something dirty. you can make ahead too, and then just pop it in the Absolutely. in the fridge right. or freezer? Or... Exactly. That's what you want to do. You want to put them in the fridge at least 15, 20 minutes, just so they harden up a little bit, and then you're good to go. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So all these recipes. If people are so inclined are on your blog as well yeah. let everyone know if they're Absolutely. just tuning in uh, the yum yum foodie.com i'm at the yum yum foodie across all social media for fun pictures and, and you like you have a ton of followers as well so you twitter instagram you're all over it i'm everywhere it's, i'm like a cult leader <laughs> 300,000 followers. i mean you literally <laughs> blew up my twitter account i'm like what is going on here so i was really excited to meet yeah. you all right uh check them out also you can see the recipes online at gotmilk.com stick around more good day straight ahead don't leave home till 11.